hello. Good evening, everybody. Praise the Lord, everyone. How's everybody doing this evening? Please live chat and let us know how you're doing. Comment below and let us know how you're doing, you two. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> amen, amen. Well, you know what time it is. Mm -hmm. For some time now, we've been coming at you on Tuesday evening for Satisfied, Satisfied Singles. Singles. Amen. Satisfied Singles, where we're endeavoring to encourage the single life, where we're encouraging people who are single to be satisfied That's right. in Christ Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen goes right there. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor, how are you doing this evening? Uh, truth, I'm a little warm, y'all. You're Hi. a little warm. <laughs> but Amen. outside of my temperature, I am doing well. Yes, it is a little you? warm in the building. I think it's me, you understand, sitting beside her. You know, I'm so just smoking <laughs> that she can't help yeah, but to are. feel my heat. You understand? Yeah. How y'all doing this evening? Welcome, welcome to Inspire Life Ministries. I'm Kofi Bryant Sr., one of your hosts. This is also Pastor Lachelle Bryant, my co-host. Thank and we you, together are inspired. You're welcome. Inspired Life Ministries, where we're endeavoring to inspire you to live out God's plan for your life and to complete how many? Every. Every assignment that he gives you. Yes. Hallelujah. Tonight Hallelujah. we have the assignment, okay? We just finished a glorious series called Dating Gems. Yes. Amen. And now that you know how to date, I want to encourage you to start developing a sense of self-awareness. Yeah. But I'm not talking about the world's self-awareness. I'm talking about you as a satisfied single glorifying God with your body. Hallelujah. If you will, turn with us to 1 Corinthians chapter number 6. Chapter number 6, we're going to begin reading at verse number 19. Before we go there, we'd like to convey some things to you. Yeah, absolutely. Amen, Pastor. Amen, Pastor. Thank you. Amen. So this evening we're talking about self-care. Mm -hmm. So when we look at self-care, it doesn't mean self-obsession ah. of self um, or um, self-deprecation, uh -huh. but it just simply means taking, taking care, care of, of ourselves. ourselves. Amen. Yes, Thank I you, like Pastor. That, Pastor. I like that. I do want to say this, though. We have to be careful about the terminology when we hear self-care and the essence that it's this new trend. I think even before pandemic came out and COVID that you didn't hear a lot of conversations about self-care, but I think because people were isolated inside of their homes and working from home, with the technology and all of these things that we began to notice that there was something different mentally about all of us, not being able to see family members, oh my. not being able to hug people, not being able to touch people. Uh -huh, Amen. Uh -huh. And so here it is when we look at the self care, the, Again, be careful because it's a new trend and it's promoting self instead of Jesus. Ah. Now, Jesus, he is concerned about us and he does want us to take care of ourselves. I have learned and observed and found that a lot of times, even in, in ministry, whether mm -hmm. it be ministry or our careers, that we will put so much focus and our tenacity, our drive is very high and great yes. when it comes to um, doing those things. But we're not taking the time to rest. Mm. We're not taking the time to do the things that we need to do for our physical body, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. So when we look at self-care, anything in this extreme can be dangerous. Self-care could be misinterpreted as self-indulgence, right? Uh, it's often misunderstood as that. Yeah. And I'm sure you've probably seen taglines like, you deserve it. Hashtag be good to yourself, or maybe you go in the store. Um, it's okay, you only live once by yourself. This treat yourself to that. You name some in live chat, right? Thank you. Yeah, and all of those things are true, but mm -hmm. let's not become so consumed and entangled with those things Absolutely. that we don't keep Christ as the center. Mm -hmm. Now, see, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. He not only cared for others, but He took care of Himself. Mm. Well, how did he take care of himself? He took care of himself physically because he took time to rest. 
He took care of himself mentally. He took time to pray and spiritually, which also goes with spending time with the Father mm -hmm. as he poured hope into others. We're not going to be able to be effective as kingdom men and kingdom women of God if we don't do the things that we need to do for ourselves. Come Amen. On, and so right. my question is, are you pouring hope into others? Mm. And if you are, keep doing it. But if not, begin starting today. Hallelujah. 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 Go right there. I'm going to go to um, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 through 20. And the word of God I'm reading from the Amplified Translation reads in this manner. Do you not know that your body is the mm. temple, mm. the very sanctuary of the Holy Spirit who lives within you, whom you have received as a gift from God? You are not your own. You were brought, I'm at verse 20, with a price, price. My God. purchased with a preciousness, mm. and paid for, made his own. So then honor God and honor and bring glory, excuse me, to mm, him to in him. your body. My Lord. Hallelujah. My Lord. Hallelujah. Honor him and bring glory. Yes. To God. That's right. In your and from your body. That's right. Amen. My God. Now remember the, the the obstacle that we have here is the flesh. Yeah. But Come to on. glorify God means to do what? Make God look good. Yeah. So Corinthians is asking us to make God look good in our bodies. Yes. And with our body. Yes. That's powerful to yes. me. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's powerful to me. Um, I think about how we take care of the things that God has entrusted to us, whether it be our vehicles, whether it be our homes, but he's also entrusted our bodies mm. to us, even though our bodies don't belong to us now that we've accepted Christ, that our bodies belong to the Lord, that he still, that we still have to take responsibility, mm -hmm. not be hard on ourselves, but be accountable, mm -hmm. that we would properly nourish and take care of the bodies that God has given us, mm -hmm. right? So when we look at that the body is a flesh, which makes it carnal, now it is given into the market of uh -huh, flesh, right? Uh -huh. And so as we look at that, how it is given into the market of flesh, many people are guilty, including me, amen, mm -hmm. of not taking care of their bodies. I don't always get the proper rest and go to sleep when I need to. That's mm -hmm. a form of not properly taking care of my body, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Some people abuse their body. Well, how do we abuse our bodies? When we're putting things in it that we shouldn't be, we overindulge in eating. We're eating sugar that breaks down the body. Um, we're smoking, drinking, um, things that affect our organs. Mm -hmm. We're ignoring or neglecting our bodies in different ways. And some even go as far as using their bodies for evil purposes. Mm -hmm. How dare us? How mm -hmm. dare us with our bodies that we would use what belongs to God to be used for evil purposes. Mm -hmm. And everything on earth, here on earth, we're to have, that our bodies are to honor God with everything that he has given to us. Amen. Our bodies are what? They're meant to be used for God's special usage. Mm. It's an instrument of God. Oh Our body is an instrument of God, but not only is it an instrument of God, it's a pristine instrument, which is meant to be well taken care of my and my. not misused. My my. So, for ladies, we have some responsibilities when it comes to our bodies that we should be getting our annual physical checkups, mm -hmm. our mammograms for our breasts, correct? Yes. It's just like a mother and a father who bring home that newborn baby. There's some things that they have to do for that baby to proper, properly take care of that baby. So they, what are they going to do? They're going to take that baby for the six-week checkup and whatever, whatever checkup comes after that, right? Absolutely. Um, it's the same for us. We need to have our annual checkups. We need to have our eyes and ears and throat and nose checked. Don't you know that we can live here on earth, never smoke, never drink, and steal the body as the older we get, it be, it, it breaks it down. It decays. And so it doesn't mean that you won't be diagnosed, diagnosed with a illness such as cancer or MS or whatever other um, illnesses that there are that cool. are out there that can really 
to um, affect the bodies. And so it's imperative because if we're doing what we need to do mm -hmm. with our bodies, if there's something there, perhaps it can be caught. Sometimes we don't do the doctor's appointments because we don't want to hear bad news. Don't want to find out. Don't want to find out. Fellas, yeah. you know, just, just hear me out for a second, fellas uh, and ladies. Uh, but more so the fellas, we we don't, uh, in this culture that, in this culture, cultural experience that we have as men here in this society we live in, we're tough, we're strong, we're built, we're, you know, rugged, mm -hmm. and we're taught to be that. And so part of being rugged and, and tough and stout to us is being impenetrable. Mm -hmm. And so we find that going to a doctor is penetrating because a doctor would be able to get down to the root of the problem yeah. or the physical challenge or the pain that you just had. And you don't want to know what the pain is. So you don't even go to the doctor to find out what is wrong. Right. What is that ache down there? What is that ache up here? What yeah. is that ache right here? You know what I mean? And so because once again, we're taught to be strong and consistent. Mm -hmm. Here's the challenge with that. The body does get older. See, we're all programmed from birth to the start to finish to die. Yeah. And so the body literally gets old and starts to break down. Yes, sir. Doesn't matter how how your attitude is mm -hmm. in terms of if you think you'll live forever. It doesn't matter if you think you'll live forever. Right. It doesn't matter if you think you're so tough and you'll live forever. It doesn't matter your body will begin to break down. Yeah. And so what we're saying is use this self-care system of God that he put in place for us to govern our bodies yeah. using the word of God to look after our bodies. Amen. Yes. Yes. You know, don't be afraid to go to the doctor and don't be afraid to hear the news because the news could keep you from us, your family getting the other news. You follow me? The news of you not being here no more. Mm -hmm. Go get that prostate checked. You follow me? Go, if you're of age, get your shingle shot or your COVID shot or whatever shots are available that you choose to get that that prolong your health. You follow what I'm saying? Get checked out. Get See what that ache is. See what that pain is. See what that uh, uncomfortable feeling is so that you can capture it before it becomes uh, uncapturable. Amen. 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 And so we just want to promote, uh, self-care. You know, there's another element pastor of self-care that I'd like to highlight before we go. And that is how we look. Mm -hmm. You follow me? How we look, how we smell, how we, how we feel. Yeah. Let's invest in ourselves. Let's invest in our images. Go get your hair done. Go get your hair cut. Go get your hair and nails done. You follow what I'm saying? But go, don't you spend that bill money doing that. Don't spill that bill. <laughs> spend that bill money, but go enjoy some parts of your life and go ahead and enjoy the fact that God made you and you want to glorify God in your body yeah. and with your body. Amen? Amen. You want to be able to do those things that make God look good in your life. Yes. And part of God make uh, part of God looking good in your life is when your body looks good. Yes. When your mind is clear, when your mind is sound, yes. when it's full of the word of God. You follow what I'm saying? Amen, Pastor. That's self-care. Yeah. Filling your mind, your body, Hallelujah. and your heart with the word of God. Hallelujah. Taking care of your physical body by getting it medically treated. Amen. And avoiding putting things in your body that will decay your body, mm -hmm. or at least in moderation. You know, I got a sugar fix thing going on, and I'm working on that. But I want to prolong my body. You follow what I'm saying? You may have something else that you're working on that you eat too much of, or that you ingest, or something like that. Just modify that severely so that you can be here for the rest of us. Because if it doesn't matter for you, it matters to us. Amen. Absolutely. We yes. care about you. We're wanting you to self-care about yourself. Amen. 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 Pastor. All right. Well, that's all the time we have this evening. We just wanted to stop by, knock on your door, and encourage you this evening. Telling you to promote Jesus in your life and to promote self-healing in your life by giving your life to Christ and allowing God 
to heal your body, your mind, and your spirit. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If this is your first time hearing a message like this, or you're even in a position where you do not even know the Lord Jesus Christ, reach out to him right now as where you are standing, where you are sitting. Reach out and say, Lord, I need you right now. Hallelujah. And as you say, Lord, I need you right now. He's right there in the midst of your situation, yes. ready to take it to a next level of healing for you and your body, your mind and your spirit. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. We encourage you tonight. Get up off of that bed of affliction. Get your mind right and do self-care by putting the mind of Christ inside of your mind yes. and putting the Thank body you. of Christ in your body so that your body can glorify God. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, always remember that ILM loves, loves you. you, but more importantly, God, God loves, loves you. you. Peace. We'll see you tomorrow. Blessings. Blessings. Blessings.